Hey guys, my name is Bray Anna. Today's video has been requested by so many people after our house tour got posted. So this video today is going to be what the paint colors are in all of the rooms across our house. We painted nearly every single room, but I will share the exact paint colors for all of the rooms that we painted. And just wanted to talk a little bit because I've also gotten the question from a lot of subscribers on how I selected paint colors and sort of how I went about making sure that there was a nice flow to the entire house. And I also just wanna say another really highly requested video or videos is really detailed room by room tours of where I got certain furniture or decor. So all of that will be coming, but I think the question I'm getting the most is about paint colors. So I just wanted to go through in this video really quickly, just room by room, what the paint colors are. And after I show you the rooms, I'll kind of go through how I went about selecting the paint color overall. So you can keep that in mind if you're trying to do the same for your home. So I think the big thing my husband and I knew is coming into this new house, there was some really, really, really bright rooms. And <laughs> I'll insert some of the before and afters too again, so you can sort of see the before and then how we painted it. But we knew we wanted really neutral colors and we knew we wanted shades of grays and beige that were cool toned. A lot of times when I would go to get paint swatches, I would always make sure that I was picking ones either from the cool category or the neutral tone category that was either some sort of gray or beige toned paint color. You can kind of see, I mean, I have all of my paint swatches here. So what I would do is just play around with setting all of these next to one another and just making sure that they all coordinated. So everything we went with was a very like close, but somewhat little different shade of gray or beige for all of the rooms that we were painting. All right, so the first room we knew we wanted to paint was the bedroom and the color is False Creek Grayish. We liked this because it's a very neutral, cool toned grayish that has a slight bit of purple to it. And then we also ended up deciding for our bar in the basement to make this False Creek grayish as well. One, just because we were buying the additional paint, but we really liked that it kind of separated the bar area from the rec area of our basement. Our foyer, which is also our upstairs hallway, and then that spills down into our family room, is called Perfect Grage. And I really do feel like this is the perfect paint color. It is a great mix of a gray and a beige. I would say similar to our bedroom. It definitely stems from a purple tone. It doesn't look purple to me though when it's actually on the walls, but just so you're always keeping that in mind when you're selecting your paint colors, it does stem from a purple. Our laundry room is called Realist Beige. And again, trying to keep on that gray and beige toned theme of paint. And to me, it's just a really neutral color because I just wanted the laundry room to be really clean and simple. My office is called Lightweight Beige. was a neutral beige color. It's not really cool in tone, and this one actually does stem from a shade of, it almost was a maroon, so it kind of does have some pink tones to it, which since it was going to be my office, I figured I wouldn't mind having some pink tones in the wall, but it is a neutral shade. It's not a warm shade, it's not a cool shade, it's considered to be a neutral shade of beige. In our half bath, we picked Offshore Mist, Thank you. 
and this was a blue toned gray. So it actually falls into the gray family, but you can see on the wall because it's a derivative of a really light powdery blue, that blue comes out in the color and I love it. I think it went with the vanity that we selected really, really perfectly. Now the rec side of our basement is called agreeable gray. This is a very cool toned gray. I think it's a great neutral wall color. If you're even thinking across rooms, what you're going to need, I think agreeable gray is a really great one. I think it also could have worked really well had we wanted something lighter in our foyer and family room, but I wanted something just a little bit deeper and cozier and richer in that space, just because it is in both the foyer and the family room two stories. So I went with the perfect grays that I thought was a little darker just because I think the space could handle a slightly darker color. But I love in the basement how even though it's a gray, it makes it really light and bright. So agreeable gray is probably my second favorite paint color out of all the ones we chose. In our kids' bathroom, <laughs> we went from a highlighter yellow color to this one is called Saxon Gray. Similar to our half bath, this is also a blue toned gray. So we wanted something that was still cool and neutral in the bathrooms, but we like in our bathrooms to have a little bit of a blue tone to everything. So Saxon gray was I think the perfect fit because now we can play around with the white towels and I think all of the bright colored kids toys that end up going in the bathtub in that bathroom. It's the perfect neutral bathroom color. And we did paint the cabinets in the kids' bathroom as well, and that is called Bohemian Lace White. And that again, we made sure was a very cool toned neutral white color. It's just the slightest bit off white. In Presley's room, I went with a very pale pink. I again wanted a neutral toned pink, not something warm. And I didn't really want cool since it is a nursery. So I was looking in the neutral color section for pinks and her color is called Romance on the top part of the walls in her room that wasn't wallpaper. And I think it is just a really light, pretty pink for a baby girl's nursery. And then for our kitchen, we did not change the wall color. We actually really liked what a cool neutral gray wall color that it was, but we did paint the cabinets. And the color for the cabinets is called Raindrop White. And I made sure I checked with a woman before I purchased the paint. It actually stems from forest black. So it comes from a very black color because I wanted something that was a white that had gray in it and just like the slightest bit of gray off white. I didn't want any other yellows or pinks or blues or purples to come out in the white. I wanted something that was a true gray white. So it's called raindrop white and the paint for the cabinets is called Alkyd. It's a-L-K-Y-D. And this is recommended to me. It's not an enamel paint, but it has the same texture and consistency as an enamel paint. So when you're painting it, the VOC is still low. I didn't paint just because I'm pregnant, but I wanted to make sure I still was getting paint that if I did come into the house after the painting was over, and because I work from home, so a lot of the painting, I wanted to make sure there was a really low VOC so that I wasn't breathing in anything that could be harmful. So the Alkyd paint, it has that really hard enamel-like consistency, and that way it will be much easier to clean. The cabinets won't dent or scratch or even have like the type of peeling that can happen if something were to nick the cabinets that a typical latex paint 
wood. So if you are going to be painting anything that's wood, like cabinetry or even furniture, the woman recommended to me, and I think it turned out really great in our cabinets, but the Alkid paint instead of a regular latex-based paint. And then for the island in our kitchen, we went with stone gray. I wanted it to sort of play off the stainless steel appliances that we have and the gray that we have in our countertops. And again, use that same Alkid paint. And for our dining room, I was looking for a really cool neutral gray color because there's a lot of beige in the fabric of our dining room chairs. So I went with moth gray, which was just the lightest shade on one of the cool gray toned color palettes. And then finally in our guest bedroom, this was a crazy blue color. And because of the chair rail, I decided to go with two different shades. Top is called White Cottage, and this had a slightly pink tone derivative is kind of the color when we were looking at it on the white, which I liked because I knew I wanted to do something shabby chic, so I knew it was going to be a lot of whites and pinks and blues eventually once I finally finish it. And then the bottom is called Diverse Beige, and again, it's just a very neutral beige color. And my biggest recommendation if you're trying to figure out a new paint scheme for your entire house is look at the base colors on a paint swatch and know that whatever the tones or colors are, are going to come out when it's on a big wall. I think sometimes when you see the little paint swatch, you think, oh, in this little tiny color, it looks really good. But across a large wall, if it has, let's say, a pink tone base, like if you're picking a gray, and you're looking at it and it actually comes from a shade of red or pink, you'll see that pink hue on your wall. So for me and my husband, we knew we wanted everything to be really cool toned, gray toned, so I was actually trying to find things that either had a black base, a brown base, or in a couple of the rooms, like our bathrooms where we wanted a bluer tone base, I would find something that stemmed from a navy or a very dark blue. And this is just another tip if you're picking pink colors, Bring a white sheet of paper with you to the paint store or to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you're going to get your paint and actually set your color samples on top of that white because a lot of times if you are trying to pick a gray or a white color, you can actually then see what color it stems from when it's on a white sheet of paper. Much more easy than kind of what light is under because I never feel like the lighting at Home Depot or Lowe's is that great to actually get a true sense of that color family that the paint comes from. And we did do satin finish on all of our cabinets and all of our walls, I did eggshell finish just because I like a much more matte color on my walls. I really don't like shiny looking walls. I don't like when things get reflected when either I'm filming or taking pictures of the kids, so I wanted to make sure I did eggshell in all of the rooms. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the more detailed room by room tours where I will go over again the pink color but also where we got the furniture or the decor or other items in the room that I know folks have asked about so that you can kind of see where I got everything if there's something that you would like to get for yourself. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.